and welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are subscribers, thank you for returning. And newcomers, please make sure you push that red subscribe and join the family. All right, today we're going to cook my fried chick stir fry fried rice. The fried chick is vegetarian. So this is a not, uh, vegetarian meal. Okay, we're going to use about two red onions, nice size about that, cut up. Dice them or slice them any way you want. We're going to use at least a half a container of these and cut those up. Notice too, I never noticed this, it's just a little tidbit of information. These say do not refrigerate. I never noticed that. I always put them in the refrigerator. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay, we're going to use a nice size avocado. We've already dug that out. We're going to use at least a cup and a half of green peppers. We're using the stir fry kit with those vegetables. Black rice. Notice that black rice. And we've already got that black rice on boiling. The only difference with your black rice is, of course, the nutrients is much more healthy for you. But you will have to cook it a little bit longer. So we have already got that on and cooking. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we've got our pan on with some oil in it too. Yeah. So that oil is heating up. While that's heating up, we're going to see just how hot it is. Yeah, we're going to start putting the vegetables in there. We're going to start putting our vegetables in there. Go ahead and do that. And then we can turn this down just a little bit too. And we're going to go ahead and start putting the vegetables in there. Okay. Yeah. Now, be mindful. You can use the regular vegetables or like I do with these, buy the ones that are already cut up. That saves a lot of time too. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of those in there. Those are already cut up. That saves a little time. We're going to break this up. Still kind of boil. Break those up. Okay. The fried chick that I mentioned comes in a can and has a little sauce on it that I just pour off and I rinse the fried chick. Okay? So these are the pieces that come out of this can for the fried chick. Okay. These are the pieces. Okay, the fried chick here comes in a can. You just pour that juice off of it, and I just rinse this off because I don't use the juice that comes on it. And these are the pieces that come out. Well, we're going to cut those up. That's going to be our replacement for the meat. Okay, I'm going to stick all that over there. Okay. And we're just going to take this. And we're going to slice this. It's going to be our meat in here. So we're just going to go ahead and slice that up. And we're going to slice all these pieces up. Okay. And we're letting the other cook while we're doing this. And be mindful that rice is still cooking also. We're just cutting this right on up. There you go. This is a substitute for chicken. That's why it's called fried chick. Okay. Uh, I don't know what where in the country you are, but there is a store here in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana called Good Earth and we get most of our things from there but this brand Worthington Loma Loma Linda uh this is sold on Amazon so you can buy some of these products on Amazon I think the only trick to it is you do have to buy it 
by the case. But I think I was looking into doing that, and I think maybe a case is like 38, 40 bucks. So it would still be a good investment because the meat substitutes that they make are really good. Uh, I have another video on here, which is the vegetarian veggie salad. That's made with the veggie links, and you can get those on Amazon. Yeah. So there'll be a lot more meals I'm cooking to come that are going to be out of this very meat or not meat <laughs> uh, that you'll be able to get off of there also. We've got the vegetables cooking. I'm going to turn those up a little bit because we're going to get that water out of there. That's going to fry. Okay, all that's cut up. And in case you need some more tomatoes, you just take these out. See, they do look different when you don't put them in the refrigerator. I, I never realized that they said that. But I happened to read it the other day, and I was like, wow. You're not even supposed to put those in the refrigerator. I've been putting them in the refrigerator for years. So now we know I won't be putting them in the refrigerator no more. Now I know why they shrivel up. All right. Let's have a couple more of those. Okay. All righty then. Okay. The only downfall of using some of your frozen vegetables you see that water? I kind of don't really want that water in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour that water off of here. Go right ahead and pour that water off of here. Yeah. So we poured that water off of here. And this will fry. A little bit better. Yeah, there you go. Now that's what you want to see going on. That fry. Okay, so yeah. I like that better. in some of this fried chicken. Now if you find that two cans of the fried chicken might be a bit much, you don't have to use the full two cans. I just got it just in case I felt like I was going to need some additional. If you think that's enough, that's fine. So we'll say maybe a can and a half. Okay, so you can use a can and a half. Okay, I tell you, it smells wonderful. It really smells wonderful. Let's stir this rice. Want to pinch it? Oh yeah, rice has got nice and tender. And we're just frying this right up. Okay. And open up this bag. Stir fried vegetables. Yeah. 
and we're just continuing to let that cook. Take these vegetables, stir fry vegetables are just going to go in a bowl. They're going to go in the bowl. We're going to use this. And we're just going to rinse these off. Take the two packets out. And we're just going to give these little vegetables a little rinse before we put them in that pan with the rest of the stuff. They say pre-washed, but I still like to rinse them some myself, okay? And let that sit for a second and run that water off of that. Okay. Back here. And this is nice. Now we know those onions are ready. But they change color. Okay. So now I'm go ahead. Put some of these beautiful vegetables in here. Yeah. And you put it according to how many people you cook it for. If you cook it for a lot of people, then hey, you might use the whole package. But I'm going to save this little bit for my lunch for tomorrow. So we can do that too. And we have some duality going on here. I got my lunch cooking and dinner cooking. So that's a good thing. Take this so I can turn over what's on that bottom. Yeah, that's real good. Turning over what's on the bottom. Okay. Now this with these vegetables, this is a meal in itself right here. This right here is a meal too. You can just do the regular fried chick stir fry and stop right here, and that's it. Okay, but we're taking it up another notch as far as healthiness because I want to add the black rice in for the healthiness. And those of you who've tasted black rice before, it's very good. It's just like your regular rice, but it looks almost purple. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and strain that so we can get that rice going in there also. We're just pouring the water off of that black rice into the sink. We're just going to strain that and add that to the pan. After that's cooked and I run that water off, I like to rinse it a couple of times just to get some of that extra starch off. Now remember we're rinsing this. And you'll rinse this a couple of times after you cook it. And then you just pour that excess off. You're just going to pour that water back off after you rinse. I rinsed it twice, and then we'll be ready to put it in the pan with the rest of the ingredients. that second time it ran pretty clear and there's your black rice when it's complete and you're just gonna start 
adding that into the pan. Yeah. Just gonna start moving that around. Now look at that. That's just beautiful. Now remember when we started frying this, we used about two, three tablespoons of oil. That's how we started off. So if you find that that oil is not enough, I'm just gonna hold out in the middle. You're going to add a little bit more oil to the middle of that. And then you're just going to stir it around. Now, you use the oil to your liking. But, you know, my suggestion be it grapeseed oil or avocado oil. And I still am a fan of the coconut oil. But you want to use one of your good oils. Can you see that? And once you get it to this point, this is pretty much done. Now, if you find that it's not enough fried chick in the mixture, which this is the fried chick, then at this point, you might want to add the rest of it that you have. Okay? And we're, not gonna, we're definitely not going to waste it. So at this point, if you think you need a little bit more in, you can add some more to the mixture. And we'll save some of that for in the morning for breakfast. You can fry that in some eggs. Okay. Now, I did tell you this is fried rice. So the one thing we didn't add yet that we're going to add, and that would be your egg. But for our vegans... We would not add the egg. But for our regular vegetarians, it would be okay to add the egg. Because to me, that's the ingredient that causes the uh, it to taste like a fried rice. Without the egg, I don't know. It just It's not really fried rice to me without the egg. But if you're vegan, then doing without the rice is not going to hurt. Because I guarantee you, this mixture is good with or without the egg. But for some reason, I don't know if it's psychological for me or not. But when I don't have the egg, it just don't taste like fried rice to me. You know. You know how we do. If you're used to something, you stick with what you're used to a lot of times. Okay, I'm also going to go ahead and add that avocado. That avocado is going to give it that, what I call, buttery flavor. I just, I, that's another thing with the avocado. I got hooked on avocado, and now it just seems like when I don't add it, that flavor is just not the same to me. Okay, this is beautiful. Okay, we're pretty much done because you don't want your vegetables to be mush. You want them still to have a little bit of Christmas to crispness to them, if at all possible. So all you're going to do is you're going to take that right there and get you some out of here and plate that up and you're ready. Now, try that out. Tell me how you like it. Just like you know we do, add your own little twist to it. Make it your own. But this right here, mm, 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 mm. really good. Now, with this one, we didn't really add much seasoning at all. And that's because you will realize that the fried chick that you use does have a lot of sodium in it. 
If you want to add a little bit, you can, but be mindful that the sodium in the fried chick is pretty high. So add just a little bit, then taste it. Because once again, everything's to flavor and then you'll be fine. But this right here for me is just fine. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye till next time.